Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. It's just me today. Greg is at work, but actually I expect him home in the next 10 or 15 minutes or so. But don't you worry, I have been keeping myself busy. Dad and I went to town, picked up some straw for the winter, and I unloaded it in the shop, and then I got started on that second goat shelter. Over there where I put the Cayuga ducks, I have four chickens, eight Cayuga ducks, and I'm gonna put one of my does over there that can't be bred because she's related to both of the bucks that I have. So I got started on that, didn't get finished, but got a good start on it. So I've been keeping myself pretty busy today. You guys remember that this was supposed to be temporary when Gary and Cassie's two little does came over um, for a few weeks and it's been here a lot longer than that. And since it was supposed to only be here a couple of weeks or a few weeks rather, we didn't even put the T-posts that we usually put in the wood pallets like I did right here. We usually put the T-posts there to help stabilize it and hold it there, make it a little bit stronger. And um, instead of sheet metal or plastic, we put uh, just an old piece of plyboard up here and then we have um, two by fours, two by four slats under there just laying flat. And that's not normally how we would do it, but that is how we did it that time. So we're gonna have to do something similar to this and make some adjustments so that the roof would all slope down the same direction uh, at the same slope. Now the purpose of this shelter is not only for the ducks and the chickens, the few chickens that we have, we have two hens and two roosters over here and we have eight ducks but uh, we'll also put a doling over here or a dole over here that we can't breed with the other two bucks because they're related unless i get a buck from somewhere else whether i borrow it rent it or buy one um, she'll just not be bred this year and we'll keep her over here she'll be next to the other goats so hopefully that will work out okay but so this doesn't have to be real special it doesn't have to be real big and it doesn't have to be real permanent which is a good thing because none of our structures are permanent. screwed into here this screwed into here and this is screwed into this one and to this one and that is to hold this up until and ignore that ignore that one that that screw was too long I didn't know it until um, I got it in there but anyway I'm this that's the way I'm doing it for right now until I can figure out how to attach this here I don't really know how if you guys want to give me some tips down in the comments below that would be awesome other than to put something another board straight up and down from the ground up to here um, I don't know how to, to how to attach this and I've noticed something else I try to make this side like I did the other side and you can see that I brought this board across even with this board with the idea of putting the two by fours in like I did over here but what I didn't notice is that the ground is actually higher up here 
and so that puts the back end higher than this other one so if you look and of course that's not that's that's fine I'm not even gonna worry about that because if I put something across there it wouldn't matter anyway like a ply board or something so so this right here is taller higher up not taller oh it may be taller it might not be the ground this this pallet may even be taller than this one but anyway it is higher up so when I put two by fours on this one it's gonna make this side higher than the other side and I'm trying to figure out what to do about that I'm not real sure about how to take care of that yet um, I'm I, I don't know not a clue leave a comment in the section below the video let me know what you think maybe I'll come up with something by the time this video comes out I don't know but that is that that's what I'm doing for right now some of you may have noticed some of you might not have but I've got new merch out my other bonfire merch was the LG homestead in black lettering and now we have it in white lettering so you can get it on the darker colors we have a little bit of an arc on there that we didn't have before and it's a little bit thicker the picture itself is just a little bit thicker so it can show up better and um, we have those available on the hoodies the shirts long sleeve shirts and the um, t-shirts so go check that out it's uh, check out my bonfire link down below in the description or on my home page my about page that also has the link That one right there at the corner coming back around is Mike now that I've gotten a good look at all of them there's the Drake that I got from Hidden Heights following in the back but the third one up right here by the pool is Mike I think so back here this one right there is Mike and right here is the Drake that I got from my hands are dirty my that I got from Hidden Heights Did you guys notice how muddy the water was getting just by the ducks getting a drink? They hadn't even gotten in it yet and it was already getting muddy because they scoop up the dirt in their bills. Not real sure why they do that, but they like to get their food wet too. And so once they start getting in and swimming and pooping in the water and bringing in dirt from the outside, it takes about 30 minutes for it to get really muddy. Ducks are really nasty, but they, they are fun to watch.
was at my worst It's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by all you have done I cannot explain the depth of your love Limits can't contain the heart of you God, I'm amazed at the depth of your love Your mercy came and found Second birth, I'm overwhelmed and grateful. You took what I deserve. I am so amazed by all you have done. I cannot explain the depth of your love. Limits can't contain the heart of you, God. Look who just got home. Did you have fun today? Uh, no. You didn't have fun today. You usually say you do. Not today. Why? Yeah. It was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's the same as every day. This day was a little bit harder. Because we had to do it a little longer because we didn't get enough eggs at, at a certain time. Gotta get them eggs. Hey, the ducks. The ducks want to be fed. All right, so there it is. Took two days, a uh, broken tripod and uh, a lot of reused material. I did cut this back here off because you saw how far over it hung off. That was just way too long. And I did a horrible job at cu cutting that. I wish it was out just a little bit further and a lot more even. I think I've got the slope on it that I need. Um, inside, it's going to keep keep them nice and warm in the winter time. I'll, I'll add another piece of something right there to give more protection from the wind. And then you've got the shop here that, that offers a lot of a protection as well. So 
I don't know how long this shop is, but the ducks and the chickens have all of this space back here. It's quite a bit of space. See the, the T-post, that's where it ends. It's the whole whole length or width of the shop, whichever, whichever you want to call it. A lot of room there for them. Okay, everything that I've used on this building is repurposed. Everything, including these, we've had these for a couple of years now. As a matter of fact, they have some holes in them where we've used them before. We brought them back over from the other house when we moved over here. Obviously, these wood pallets are repurposed. The back wall there is what I took off of here, but it was also used in the buck's pen as a top at the other house a couple of years ago. So I just used what I could find in the shop. I don't have roofing screws or roofing nails up here, so I did just, I, I found something and made it work. This won't last forever, but it will definitely use it for this season. It will be just right for the ducks, for the for the chickens, and for that goat that comes over here. I am pleased with the work that I've done here in a short amount of time with just the materials that I have. I hope you enjoyed watching me put it together. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button below the video. Doesn't cost you a thing and share this video out. So let me go ahead and show you some of the things that are wrong with the shelter. Don't get me wrong. I'm pleased with it. It's gonna work. But let me show you some things that that aren't so good about it. So I used these and these were eight foot. This is only four foot. So I cut this off. It is uneven. I wish it was out a little bit further. Well, I like where this is, but I wish the rest of it was lined up with this. Also the screws that I have for the roof came through this siding and they stick out. But I try to keep them like at the ends where all it, the only places it comes out is over this board. As you can, if you can see in the very, I don't know if you can see, yeah, in the very back, I did the same thing. But like I said, I've got them all right here. They're not like sticking up under here. They're not in here sticking up. It's just along the edges. Um, that back piece back there didn't fit completely. The bottom is not screwed in. See, this bottom is not screwed in. The, the middle and the top is because it doesn't fit under this. And uh, it's not going anywhere. It's wedged in there real good. And like I said, the top and the middle is screwed in. I will get another piece of board and put it there um, to just offer more protection from the wind. I do not want this airtight. I do want air to be able to flow through here, not only for the goat, but for the birds, especially for the birds. If you got, if you have a building that's that's closed in where there's no good airflow, your birds will get sick. And so. Um, none of my none of the buildings um, not it hasn't doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I can't build it That is by design that all of them have airflow 